So to start off this episode of upcoming mods, we actually have some updates to We Are The Enclave. This is a mod I did show you a little while ago. It's basically aiming to add in some Enclave quests and locations back into Fallout 4. What we're checking out now though is the Enclave Troop Carrier. Basically this is going to be like an APC style thing meant to hold a bunch of different troops. I really encourage you guys to check out the Nexus page for this one. I'm going to have it linked down below as with everything else I do show you. This mod author really goes through kind of and details the process of creating this and how he started from this kind of more blank slate then went on to adding some of the different textures which i gotta say look really cool i really like the camo scheme here it definitely has a nice enclave vibe with those darker colors and then finally adding some of the details onto it and again he has a little blurb for each step and how long it does take and all around just some more in-depth details as to the process of creating something like this apc and incorporating it into the game all around again this is looking very promising this mod is coming along quite nicely and it's something i'm personally very excited for because i just feel like having the enclave back in fallout 4 would be kind of fun some other mods have attempted it in the past, but we don't really have a proper military faction in the game, and I think the Enclave could definitely provide that. So we have another pretty cool one. This is going to be a new work in progress mod by Jakra. I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong, but regardless, this is going to be a Scorpion. So this is a pretty cool gun, probably something you played in Call of Duty. This is a mod author that has produced a ton of great content in the past. I know he was working on a Glock. He actually put out the M1014 shotgun that we all know and love. But as you can see, again, he is now working on the Scorpion. This is something that I think would be really freaking cool in the game. I personally really enjoy using kind of machine pistols or SMGs for one, because it's not something that we really have in vanilla Fallout 4. Obviously, there's an automatic variant of some of the pistols but a proper machine pistol with a nice big magazine is kind of not found there's some mods that add them in but i just still really enjoy playing with that category so adding this to the collection definitely would be something i'm excited and hyped for obviously this gun is looking pretty cool this is a talented mod author and something that hopefully we'll get to see in the next few weeks so we actually have another update to the Subversible Power Armor Redux. This is something that obviously just came out, but now Cyber Walrus is actually working on the first update to that mod, and that's going to be in the Big Sister Armor. As you can see, he's changing around some of the model aspects of that armor. You can see here it now has a kind of hood or shroud around the cover there. I think this looks really cool, and I really like the kind of design choice with this. Obviously, the Big Sister Armor is very distinct. Having that kind of round head with the big red light coming out is very loud and noticeable. Maybe having an armor variant that tones things down a little bit and makes it a bit more hidden would be quite cool using some darker colors so you can blend into the commonwealth and not stand out like a sore thumb obviously the mod itself is very high quality i did just talk about it in mods weekly if you haven't downloaded it i recommend doing so but it's nice to see that this mod is already starting to get updates even though it was just released so we have some further updates to Fallout Cascadia. So first and foremost, we have some new NCR uniforms. I showed you some of these a few days ago, and they have come back showing us even some more work that's being done on this. These are currently a work in progress by Lord of War, but again, for Fallout Cascadia, the larger mod. Also, these will be ported to Xbox One and come out as standalone. So I know that was a question a lot of people were asking, and they have addressed that. I feel like these two outfits have a really big World War One inspiration. They look like something straight out of Battlefield 1, and even this first outfit, it really just could be from that game, like a direct rip. Regardless, they both look really high quality and they definitely have a nice NCR vibe to them with definitely having some more variety in the designs. It's definitely something I could see the NCR wearing, but maybe not necessarily something that they have worn in the past. It definitely is very similar to previous things, but with its own taste again to it. I really like the look of these. I'm really excited to get the NCR back in the game. As I said before, we don't really have a good military faction in Fallout 4, although Cascadia is going to be kind of a separate world space and things are going to take place there. Still having a military faction back will be very good. I know a lot of people really did miss that. In New Vegas, you did have Caesar's Legion as well as the NCR and now in Fallout 4 what you have the Minutemen yeah really moving on though we actually have some landscape and world space updates also for Fallout Cascadia this is going to be developed by small Rossman but again being for Fallout Cascadia which I don't think I mentioned that's aiming to add in Seattle as a new world space with new quests NPCs and weapons so as you can see these are looking really cool I really like the look of this world space it looks very hectic but kind of in an appropriate way it has a good amount of clutter it doesn't look bare or empty as well as it just looks a bit better than I think what Bethesda even put forward there's not really that much to say about it. I mean, they look really cool. Definitely is some high quality work, but we don't really know too much about the location or what's going to be going on there. I think the skeletons in the closet look pretty cool. And yeah, honestly, the one thing that again really stands out to me is the level of detail is almost a bit higher than what we have right now in Fallout 4. You can definitely see some of the stuff being made is a custom asset or at least things that we haven't seen all that much in Fallout 4. But all around this mod is shaping together to be something that's very promising. I know a lot of you guys are hyped for it. I'm personally extremely hyped for it. And I really like these more intermittent development updates. I think it keeps things 
fresh in the community interaction flowing. That's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video though. Let me know in the comments down below. Out of all the mods I did show you, which one are you most excited for? A lot of people are probably going to say Fallout Cascadia, but maybe you like weapon mods more. Maybe you like the Enclave more. Or maybe you just are totally enjoying Submersible Power Armor Redux and considering that one will probably come out first, we have more realistic expectations with that. But again, I thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and yeah, that's it. Hope to see you guys all next time. Later.